G'day, welcome back to the channel. We're going to replace the front sprocket today. There's probably a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but this is what works for me. The tools you're going to need, 17mm socket, some Loctite for reinstalling it, whatever tools you need to undo your back wheel. So the easiest way that I've found to remove this bolt is with the bike on the ground. You can use the back brakes, you've got weight on it, have the front wheel up against something. You've got to try and help yourself as much as you can here. With two people it's less of an issue, but if you're a single person in the shed like I am most of the time, this is the way that I do it. It's not necessarily pretty or graceful, but it works. I'm on the stand on the bike, front wheel's up against the bench there, foot on the back brake with the socket and the slight extension I can uh, use as a bit of a handle to, to steady it. I just lean down. Once it's loose, you're done. It will depend, of course, on how tight that bolt is. I use blue Loctite, which is not the, the permanent strength one, so it's, you know, it's doable. That's how I do it. Once it's loose, I put the bike on the stand, put it in gear. You can undo it the rest of the way. Get a wire brush and clean off the old Loctite. Loosen your rear wheel. Get a bit of slack in the chain. If you are changing sizes of sprockets, you're going to have to adjust it anyway. With the larger sprocket, with the 15, you might have to remove this bolt from this cover. With the 14s, I've found there's often enough wriggle room in there just to, to not have to remove this bolt. Old one out. A new one, the ridge part goes at the back, so the front face is flush. And you can tell by looking at the old one that came off, has got that ring around there where the dome washer was sitting. So if you can't remember, that's how you can remember. New one in and on. Uh, make sure you put this one here back in. There will be a torque setting for this particular bolt. I will check that and let you know and I'll talk that up later. Then the dome washer. There'll be a link there somewhere to a video I did about how to put a 15 tooth sprocket in here and cutting this out um, and it also talks about these dome washers, the Dirt Tricks dome washers and why you might want to go with those. So check out that other video. And then a bit of Loctite. And that's not right because it's, it's just, you've got to get the, uh, the washer centered in that bolt. Yep. Most of that tightening, you can, you can just do here against the engine if it's in gear. And then once I get it all back together properly, I'll tighten this with this while sitting on the bike and just to give it a bit more of a, a snick together. Then you adjust your chain as per the recommendations and that's it, you're done. Now I've got the bike back together, I can get on with the prep of my, all my luggage and things. So stay tuned for more videos on this prep. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye for now.